Hey everyone, I'm Eric. I'm excited to show you how to make a 3D parallax animation in Octo Studio. It's a simple illusion to create visual depth in your project. We can achieve this by making a project with different layers. When we tilt the device, the closer layers move faster than the ones further back, which is just like how we see things in real life. Let's try it. So let's go ahead and create a new project. I'll start by choosing a backdrop. And for this tutorial, I think I'm gonna pick a bunch of the images that I've already drawn. So I'll go ahead and choose this blue sky. Uh, and then for our first sprite, let's do the furthest most object in our animation, which is gonna be these mountain ranges. So obviously you can draw your own or bring in images that you've made. So I'll go ahead and make these a bit bigger. So I'll scale it up a little bit. And what we'll wanna do is have these mountains move back and forth when we tilt the device. And instead of using the tilt to move block, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. So I'll have it move. And then I wanted to move not just 50, but the tilt angle right to left. So I go ahead into the more blocks category and pull out the tilt angle block. Now, right now you can see if I click it at zero because I'm not tilting the device, but if I tilt it to the left, it'll give me some values that are negative. I tilt it to the right, it'll give me positive values. So let's go ahead and try to put this in this block, change it to lightning speed so it happens instantaneously, and then we'll wrap it in a forever block. So now it's gonna forever move the angle uh, of the tilt. So let's go ahead and hit the play button. If I move it to the left, it moves, <laughs> okay. So it moves really quick and then it moves to the right. So when we're talking about parallax, we want objects in the background to not move so, so much. So what we can do is we can divide this number. The more we divide that number, the smaller it gets. So if I go to the more blocks category, I can pull out this block. And I can say, let's go ahead and divide that number. So I'll divide tilt angle. Let's go ahead and divide it. How about we divide it by 10? See what that looks like. So I'll go ahead and reinsert this block. Now we'll test it out. Okay, so now if I move it, it's moving slower, but I think I want it to move it even more slowly. So all I have to do is just add uh, some value to this number. So maybe I'll make it 30 because I just want it to be oh so subtle when I tilt. Okay, that's great. So we're off to a great start and we're just gonna replicate this with the other layers of the animation. So next I'll go ahead and add uh, my hill. So I have this in here, I believe it's this one. So these two little mounds here. And just like before, I'll do a little scale on it, scale it up, bring it down. And I like to sort of be efficient here with the code. So instead of replicating all the code, that I just made, I'm gonna go ahead and copy paste that code into this new sprite. So I'll go ahead and sort of long press this, go to copy script. Let me copy this over to the hills. So I'll go back to the hills sprite. And we notice this is at 30, so that's a very subtle movement. So if we make this a little bit smaller, maybe 15, the hill's gonna move faster than the mountains. Let's try that out. Cool, yeah, you can see it's moving a little bit faster. So let's go ahead and add our next layer, which I think is gonna be kind of like some grass. So I'll go ahead and add a new sprite, choose some photos. Okay, looking good. I'll scale it once more. Not bad, not bad. I'll be able to pull it up a little bit. All right, now this one actually, cause it's just a rectangle and there's not much going on, I'm actually not going to have it tilt to move. I'm just gonna have it stay static. So the only thing that we have left is some trees. So I'll go ahead and add a tree layer. So I'll go to new sprite and I'll go to my photos, and I had drawn this tree with the help of Zinnia, uh, and I'll go ahead and add this. And okay, boy, we have one giant tree, so let me go ahead and scale this. But what I also want probably is, I want many trees, so I'm actually going to go ahead and edit this tree. So I'll click the tree, I'll uh, scale it down a little bit, then I'm just gonna start copy pasting. So I'll go ahead and copy it, hit that button, paste, there's another tree, there's another tree. Whoops, made it too wide. Uh, I'll do maybe one more. Okay, great. Now let's see what that's looking like. Okay, now the, the trees are really tiny. Uh, so I'll go ahead, whoops. Oh gosh, sometimes in Octo Studio, I accidentally scale the wrong thing. So I'm gonna go to full screen mode here and I'm going to then try to change the size of my trees. Love that. Okay, go ahead and move this up. 
looking good. And again, I want to be efficient, so I'm going to copy paste some of the code from previous sprites. I'll go to my hill sprite. I like this code, so I'll go ahead, copy that over to our trees. And then again, we want the trees to move the fastest because they're in the foreground. So that should be moving way faster than those mountains. And we know if we want to do that, we'll just make this number smaller. So let's try five. All right, so I'll full screen it, test it out. Okay, it's looking good. So you can see we're getting that nice little depth here. So it really looks like the trees are moving. It's almost like we're kind of there. I'm gonna spend a few minutes to add to my project and hope you do too, and I'll report back. So I'm back. Here are a few things that I added, a few finishing touches. So let's go ahead and full screen this. Uh, you can see I added a little house. Uh, I copy pasted in an emoji of a house uh, to the hills in the background. And I like how the layer of the tree kind of passes in front of the house. Added a little grass, made one of the trees pink as well. Uh, and one thing that I noticed as I was sort of manipulating the sprites and redoing the sprites is you might need to use a layer block. So for instance, um, I had to redo the mountains and so I needed to make sure that the mountain here was behind everything. Uh, so this is behind and then this little symbol means everyone. Uh, and so as you're making your parallax, you might find as you're adding new things that the layering is kind of important. But anyways, I hope you had fun making your parallax and I can't wait to see what you make.